411 Calisthetic Lifestyle Podcast, where we bring you tips and tricks to improving your calisthetic practice to get you faster results you deserve. The 12 major benefits intimate fasting has done for me and what that could potentially mean for you. Hotep, I am that I am, some call me Haru, your cannabis fitness strategist with another episode from 411 Calisthetic Lifestyle Podcast Episode 3 or 3 as they would say. But the 12 major benefits intimate fasting has done for me and what that could potentially mean for you. So let me give you a little insight of who I am, what I'm about, and what I have been doing with this intermittent fasting or this way of lifestyle, of eating, um, or approaching how you um, process your particular lifestyle. This has been my lifestyle for the last two months and, seven, and 20 days, two months and 20 days, keep it real with you, and I have been seeing a dramatic I'm talking about major changes in my life like like crazy. And I know this is this definitely can benefit a whole bunch of folks out here, especially the people who's actually been following me and whatnot and seeing the transformation over through my videos because I'm sure you've been seeing what's going on. So remind you, I'm working out. I train four to six times a, a week. Usually it's probably a little bit more than that to an extent because I usually train at least twice a day. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm more like in between my gigs, in between my jobs, in between my uh, particular uh, events. Let me let me put it like that. Between my events, I'm still getting it in. I'm still getting 25 push-ups here, 35 push-ups here, maybe some 25 squats here. Boom, boom, boom. And we got beat. Tune in because we have some videos for those of you who's actually in the business world or at a job. What you can actually do in between your your lunch time, your breaks, and making it happen. You know, kind of getting that getting at least being at a, at a weight where you particularly are respected by your own self, what you could say, aha, I'm cool, I'm feeling good. So remind you, I've been a vegetarian for 17 years. Um, I'm actually going into veganism. I have been dibbing and dobbing with veganism for the last a few years, but I, I was successful in my earlier years when I was actually a vegan. I became a vegan, and I was a vegan for about two years. Um, so I do have the experience, so I'm kind of going back to it. So what was lovely about the intermittent fasting, it really made sense to me, especially when I first tried it in 2014. I tried it for like 15 days. I was like, oh, this is on point. Then I took it up to another notch in 2015. I did 21 days. Now I'm doing the whole gamut. and I'm making it a part of my lifestyle. So I really wanted to share this with those of you who's really wondering how to get the abs, how to get certain things. It's your diet. It's what you're eating. It's what you're putting in your body. That's, that's probably 95% of the game. 5% is just staying in the gym or staying active, staying, you know, keeping that discipline on some type of fitness. Um, so this is what intermittent fasting kind of really mean to me, what I actually been, um, how I've been breaking it down. Uh, but let me, one of the things I wanted to do is just put out there a caveat. I'm going to pull a list, an episode, and making a list of what I eat, what I put in my body. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't shop out. I don't really, forgive me, I don't eat fast food anymore. I stopped eating fast food since I've been on um, the intermittent fasting. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing results. I'm seeing crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Taking you back to when you was a, a teenager. That's what's crazy. But I'll remind you, I'm 40. I'll be 41 here in another few months. So just kind of giving y'all a little eye opener here because people are successful on this particular way of life keep it real with you. I'm seeing a lot more people who's been doing it and who has discipline. Let me put that out there again. But um, so particularly, this is what my, my day looked like, typically my day looked like, far as on my intimate fasting side, not counting my journalism, not counting my coaching, not counting all that stuff in there, even though that's straight up time because that takes a lot of 
big chunks out of my day. But at the same time, what I'm doing, particularly on my intermittent fasting, and like I say, I've been doing intermittent fasting for the last two months and 20 days. And I've been feeling good, and I'm going to break down the ba- the major benefits I'm feeling. But I do 20 hours of fasting. Now, and that's a little extreme for most people. You know, you got your brother who's been doing it pretty successful, and certain people been very successful in this particular um, way of lifestyle. But I do, and I'm I'm fasting 20 hours, and then I would eat. My particular eating window is from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that's when I'm getting in my so-called calories, my energy, my certain things I do, um, yada, yada, yada. I do take supplementation, and we'll talk about that a little later. But the supplementation is totally different from what everybody is thinking, what kind of supplementation is being put in the body, per se. Um, so during this fast, during this 20-hour fast, I'm um, usually in, in the morning, I'm waking up pretty early. So basically I'm taking some... I'll get up and take my little traditional um, drink of water. So I drink, I'll probably drink, you know, a glass of water, you know, maybe two glasses of water early in the morning just to flush that out. Then I add another glass of water with some baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking soda up in there, you know. So then I'm just really, so about 9 o'clock or so, my body, 9 p.m., 9 a.m., I'm ready to flush out everything I ate last night, per se. You see what I'm saying? So this is the, the cleansing element of the body. So I, and, and when I'm drinking the water, the water has lemon in it, you know, so that's a good thing. So after that lemon, after that ritual, I usually go ahead and make me two cu- or a cup of coffee, and then I usually get in two cups. I drink my first coffee, whatever, and then, you know, a few hours later. Um, and it's usually, it's usually before 12, usually with the coffee thing, is before 12. So I usually try to get it in before 12 because, I mean, I am tend to drink coffee like water, you know, suck it down. Wow, it's gone. It's done. You know, lattes, whatever, vientes, whatever the case may be. But I've been kind of um, working on growing my own coffee, if that's making some sense to folks you know, being self-sustained, but on the other hand, I would usually take two cups of coffee. If not two two cups of coffee, I usually take two cups of uh, cocoa, you know, and this is basically because the weather's changing. I'm in I'm in Colorado, and it's starting to get a little cold out here, so a brother's like, okay, let me get something to warm up in, or whatever the case may be. So, let's get to the meat and potatoes. The 12 major benefits of intermittent fasting has done for me and what it can do potentially, what it could do, what it could potentially do for you. That's what we're going to get down into. So the, so this is not a particular order. I don't have this in no particular order. All I'm doing is um, giving you how I felt and what I feel and what has been results to me. And a lot of these things have something maybe you can relate to. Just pay attention to the 12, because the 12 might hit a note here and there. So, first one on the list. More energy. I noticed that right away. Noticed that right away. As soon as I started doing it, getting into it, because my body was already used to the mentality of fasting, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm into holistic health, I'm into alternative health, I'm into alternative therapies, yada, yada, different modalities. The words all mean the same, but at the same time, understanding, giving people a, a broader um, perspective or environment where they can pick and choose from. So basically, that's what I have been noticing, more energy, you know what I'm saying, more energy. And how the energy is, the energy is more of a, a zest for life, that type of energy, you know, get out here, let's go meet some people, let's go talk to some people, let's go politic with some of these ladies, see where their minds are at, see what I'm saying, that's where it's going for me, the more energy, and in my particular training too, you know what I'm saying, I mean, this energy is like the youth, and we'll get more down to it, so what's the second major benefit of intermittent fasting, what it has done for me? Quality of sleep. I've been getting the greatest sleep, <laughs> feeling good in the morning. And I'm talking about I go to bed. I, I've been going to bed recently. I've been definitely disciplining myself to go to bed at 930. That was, that's the number, 930. So I'm actually laying down in the bed at 930. 
So when I'm waking up, I'm waking up at four. I'm waking up at three o'clock. I'm ready to go. You know, so when I'm when I wake up, what I do, I just start my meditation. I go into my little 24 minute meditation. Then I get up and do my little ritual, my writing, my journal, my morning pages. Get that out. Get them thoughts out, whatever the case may be. But it's, it's, it's the same concept, keeping that, keeping that and how it uh, works with the sleeping apparatus. And we talked about that in last episode, what you should do with in your sleep and how you can actually get more sleep. Actually, episode one, um, rest days, you know, and we talked about that, but we definitely making it happen. So what is the third major benefit in intimate fasting? The third one was hormone balance. You know what I'm saying? All my everything's in my, every look. Everything in the body is actually starting to work right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, regenerating teeth, regenerating, and remind you, I'm a ca- cannabis avid user. You know what I'm saying? I'm a daily user, and I, you know, I keeps it on a brother. You feel me? So I mean, it, and it don't, it doesn't really matter with me, sativa, indicas. I think it's the mentality. It's the mentality of a go-getting mentality or a go-giver mentality, but it's, I'm hungry, you feel me? And nobody can take that away from you. You see what I'm saying? I'm hungry. I want more. I want to get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the brothers say, get that money. You feel me? I'm up at them bars. I'm up on them rings, whatever the case may be. I'm pulling tires. I'm lifting tires. I'm gaining the strength, whatever the case may be. But the hormones actually is, is bringing me back to my younger years when I was a um, when I was on the wrestling mat, you know, you know, four uh, percent body fat. You know what I'm saying? Four percent body fat, straight all muscle. Keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? And I and I don't have to. I'm not boasting. I mean, you can check the record. You can check the record and go back to the game and see what the brother was doing back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Even on the football field, we 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 can go there. You feel me? So I mean, and I was a small dude. I was really small, but the respect element. You feel what I'm saying? And I was hungry. So what is the fourth major benefit of intimate fasting that has done for me? My teeth has been regenerating and my body order is getting is more attractive. Keep it real with you because I'm not eating a lot of junk food. And, and th- this is the coolest thing. Watch when I break down some of the, the food I've been eating on the next episode. Y'all going to be like, what? Because what, what this food has been doing has really been making a brother come back to what originally you was how you was eating. See, I think we, I think we're all meant to be, no, don't take me wrong, not all of us, but a lot of us are meant to be vegetarians, especially how our body, the gene particularly, the gene I have within me, I think is a vegetarian type or a veganism gene. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking because how every, how my body has been responding, I'm getting younger. I'm seeing it in my body. I'm seeing it with my skin. I'm, I'm understanding where, the elements are going, the clarity of my eyes, you know, certain things like that. You start tuning in and start really realizing, look, you have the opportunity. Everything is there. That's why I think we can actually stay alive longer than what we actually been given, what they're telling us. But it's through the food. And we'll talk more about that in the next episode. Um, so what is the fifth major benefit of intimate fasting? Weight maintained. My, my body percentage is way down, you know what I'm saying, it's under 10, I know that for a fact, you know, I'm seeing muscle gain like crazy, every week is straight muscle gain, and the cool thing, like I said, episode one, we was talking about rest days are so very important, allowing your muscles to recuperate, allowing your muscles to come back, to regenerate, to grow, because that's what brothers want. You know, you could you could be five five and be about one seventy and be a swollen okay, <laughs> but at the same time, your mobility is there. You're able to do the things you should be able to do. You feel me? And be very active with that. So, um, <laughs> you know. That, that's something, the vascularity, the aesthetics, I'm seeing that within my particular body. You're pay, if you're paying attention to the videos, you know, i.e., via paying attention to our videos, you're seeing, you're seeing a lot of uh, improvement, a bunch of improvement, not just me, but my Conrads. 
You know what I'm saying? All my Conrads, they're they're benefiting too because they're they're paying attention. That's the key thing. Paying attention to your body. So what is the sixth major benefit of intermittent fasting that has done for me? Discipline, eating times. Now think about this. All day long you going through from the day you the time you wake up, you go eat some type of breakfast, right? So your stomach is going, boom, boom, boom. So then you figure two to three hours later, you putting something in your mouth and you don't even have to be hungry. That's the crazy thing. It's just the habit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I noticed with the discipline with me. I'm able to take it out. I don't even think about food. Keep it real with you. I don't even think about food. I mean, unless it's prep day and usually my prep days on Mondays, you know, and I prep everything for for the whole week. You feel what I'm saying? And usually it lasts me the whole week, you know, or more, you know. But my point is the discipline with eating times. We don't allow our stomachs to digest anything. We don't allow it to process anything. We just keep it going, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going. And then we're wondering why we're stressed. You know what I'm saying? Because we got that same mentality with every other habit we have developed throughout this particular society mindset. You know what I'm saying? But that is the benefit, paying attention, eating times. You women out there who are always talking about you want to lose weight and this and that, this is the discipline right here. You see what I'm saying? This is the discipline. This is intermittent fasting is the way to go for those of you who really have discipline in something. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you can eat practically anything you want. You know, I, I mean, practically anything you want. And if you like me, my metabolism is super, super high. So I can knock that stuff off in no time. Plus, like I say, I smoke a lot of cannabis, you know, indica, sativas, whatever the case may be. Yeah, you have them cravings, but you don't have the cravings for what you think you have the cravings for. See what I'm saying? Because our body's been processed under this sugar mentality that has been destroying a lot of us. You got us cold, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. Matter of fact, this next, the seven major benefit of intimate fasting and what it has done for me, and what it could potentially mean for you. No more cravings. Literally, I haven't craved no bread. It's been about three weeks. I've been off bread, and I've been off dairy. You feel what I'm saying? And the sugars are slowly getting out of a brother. You know, that's, that's one of the, hard, the challenge right there, the sugars, getting rid of the sugars, because the sugars have you addicted. You know, have it, it just taken from you that glucose or whatever you want to call it. Brother don't have to be a scientific, uh, giving you scientific terms. We're just going to put it in perspective where you see, okay, this sugar is actually harming me. At, at the same time, it's actually enhancing you too at the same time. But we'll talk about that a little later, maybe in the next episode when we're talking about food and what, how it affects you, how it affects your body, how it affects your mentality, how it affects your thinking or you're non-thinking. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want to go out and work out. You know, I'm not feeling too good. You see what I'm saying? And uh, there's that self-talk again. So here's another, um, the eighth major benefit of intermittent fasting. Pay more attention to your thoughts. You know, I'm paying a bunch more attention to what I'm actually speaking, saying, and thinking. You feel what I'm saying? Not all simultaneously, even though we do have that ability subconsciously, because everything that's given to the conscious or subconscious has been produced. You know, we can trigger it. We can go back. You know what I'm saying? As they say, uh, the past, we can go to the past and recall those particular elements, recall the particular tree, recall that particular food or product we was actually thinking about or kind of browsing in the store and subconsciously you caught that price. <laughs> So that's one of the things, focus, staying focused, being able to be on a task and finish the task. Another element is I, I love the, the case that what cannabis has been able to affect the penile gland or the psychic gland to really hone in and utilize your imagination, taking the quiet time. That's important. Um, what is the ninth major benefit intimate fasting has done for me? transformation. I'm tuned in. This is kind of based on uh, nine as well, or eight as well, but transformation, tune in. Um, 
I'm looking at things more positive. Yeah, I have my negative days or negative time thinking, but that's so small of a window, you don't even pay attention to that. You pay attention to the positive, you know, because that's what's got to be around you. You have to put positive around you. You got to attract people with money. You got to attract beautiful women that you want to be attracted to. Therefore, you got to act upon it. You got to be it. You got to express it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing a major transformation in how I'm responding to people, being more articulate, you know, uh, being more explaining things more in detail where it's like, okay, when I was eating so much, I don't have time to really be thinking. And that's the problem. We don't have the time, but we got to make the time. The transformation is within you. That's the benefit. That's the potential for you, brother. It's right here, brother, sister. It's right here for you. You just got to take it. I'm just giving the, you know, I'm just explaining what the results I'm getting. But the key thing, I think you could see great results with this particular way of living. And I particularly focus on uh, my brothers and sisters with the body weight exercises and whatnot, because you're tuning in to you. You're not tuning into a weight, you know, a particular weight. OK, I'm going to get 135. OK, now I'm going to get 225. Now I'm going to butt that up and get 315, whatever. You see what I'm saying? I'm focusing on you. That's the key thing. You focusing on me. I'm focusing on me. So the 10th major benefit of intimate fasting for me has been food intake myth. I want to debunk all that. I've been talking about this a while now, and actually for years now. I mean, the, the, the high calorie diets, you know, the big carbs and all this other crazy whey protein and all that stuff, I think is, is overrated. It's a joke. And basically what they're doing is promoting food intake, killing you. You got to go buy. You got to go buy this. I got to go this. I got to go get this. I got to, you know, even with the supplementation um industry they're just so you know everything's so capitalistic don't take me wrong we need money i get that i I don't no argument with that i'm not debating that or anything like that but at the same time it's an understanding are we growing our own food that's the question are we growing our own food what are we doing we're going to a particular store or storefront to buy and pay for this stuff every week or every other day or whatever the case may be you know, and then, oh, that's called materialistically, yeah, that's another story. <laughs> the, la- the 11th major benefit of intimate fasting. Studies have shown to support this approach with intimate fasting. So I'm not just putting this out there just because I want to uh, manipulate you, because I noticed that with these fitness channels now, they're all doing the same themes. They are all coming off, oh, I'm getting divorced, or I'm my woman, I'm breaking up with my woman, I got to do this, I got to do that. You know, oh, I got my own gym, this is what I do, boom, boom, boom. You see what I'm saying? So pay attention. These, these are the things what I actually been paying attention, paying attention to these trends, paying attention to these little certain things that is going on but seeming ironic or cliche per se. Because these fitness channels are big manipulators, too. We put money in their pockets daily. We're worshiping these particular idols, as they would say. You know what I'm saying? We put money in their pockets. And ain't nothing wrong with that unless you're getting value from it. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm starting to see, I'm starting to see these patterns. And I'm like, well, this is not even morally. This ain't even, do you really even value this? You know, you're saying something and then at the same time you're over here saying something else. And then when somebody check you, all of a sudden it's a problem. See what I'm saying? So be real to yourself. That's all I'm saying. So the studies of this approach actually support intermittent fasting. The last, I say the last 10 years or so, books have been talking more about intermittent fasting. You can go online for different resources. But um, particularly, I found this great book. Um, I don't know the authors yet. I don't know them, but I'm willing to step out there and do some interviews with them, talk to them, really get a more understanding of how they approached it and whatnot, even though they explained it in this book. So the title of the book is The Fast Diet. Lose weight, stay healthy, live longer with the simple secret of intermittent fasting. And maybe I'm saying that wrong, but in certain terms, I'm like, that's what it's saying on the particular (laughs) <laughs> what is reading the, the, the particular alphabets is just like calisthenics. Everybody got a different how they how they pronounce it is like, come on, it's saying 
calisthenics. It's kind of like um, California. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, calisthenics. So I call aesthetics, you know. I mean, and then if you want to break it down, etymology and all that stuff, okay, whatever. But my point is how we say things like soda pop. Everybody down here say soda pop. When you go up to Alaska, we saying, um, no, we say, yeah, they say soda pop. We just call it a pop. <laughs> Get us a pop. That's the terminology up there. So, I mean, it's crazy, you know, the differences. But um, let me repeat that, uh, the book again. The book is called The Fast Diet. Lose weight, stay, stay healthy, live longer with simple secrets of intermittent fasting. It's, it's a great read. Not, not just a great read, but great information provided. Um, the, the authors are Dr. Michael Mosley and Minnie Spencer. Great. I mean, even how they presented it is actually pretty good, you know, layout. And it's a few other publications out there. I don't want it to have the list of that. But like I said, you'll see my book list. And those of you who's really want to follow, you know, follow some of my exclusive information, it's been on uh, Instagram. I've been putting a lot of stuff on Instagram as far as the books and stuff I've been reading and, you know, new friends coming around. So last but not least, the 12 major benefit of intermittent fasting what has done for me what I have seen the longer you stay on the fast the better benefits you'll see that's all it's been it's been good for me these two months and 20 days it's been great it's been an awesome journey I haven't had no sickness I haven't had no uh no drama with the body issues. My energy level has been ridiculous crazy, especially as we've been, um, as we're building the Denver Bar Squad um, uh, enterprise. Brothers, sisters, we getting major, we getting big, we making it happen, and that's the key thing. Matter of fact, I was, I was just wanting to explain to you guys um, the beautiful thing is that this is my, um, I'm calling this is my Oprah my Oprah episode, because this is, this is the transformation right here. This is actually the transformation. I know this is a little long, so we're going over 27 minutes, but I, I guarantee you, if you download this episode and re-listen to this episode, because that's the key thing, download this and, and listen to what I'm saying, and I'm going to be breaking down more details and benefits of what it's been doing. Like I said, you're seeing it through my videos. You can look at our, all the videos we have produced it so far, as far as on Workout Forever, as well as Consider Media. You can check it out, see what we're doing, how we're progressing and what we're doing, and how is it benefiting you, because that's the key thing, why we're doing this. You see what I'm saying? Me and Abdul always politicking on how can we make this product better or our services better for those of you who actually been enhancing, taking apart, you know, sharing. You know what I'm saying? And we thank you for all that. You feel what I'm saying? But we want to see some more activity. I want to see some more likes. I want to see some more comments. I want to see some more questions. You feel me? And I mean, maybe what do we got to do? See, that's another thing. What do I got to do? What do I got to sell you or what do I got to, <laughs> what do we got to do to get you, kick you up in the butt, kick you in the ass and get you moving? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the key thing. If we can't get you moving in yourself, within your own particular self, within you, how are you ever going to do anything that's worth anything? You know what I'm saying? You're valuable, but you're acting like you're not valuable. You're not a va you, you, Trust me, the whole element within you is so powerful that we can move mountains, not just mountains, but planets. You feel me? We got the capabilities of everything. You have the capability to do anything you really want to do. You see what I'm saying? Don't take me wrong. Our beliefs are in the way. We got these so-called beliefs, and we're going to get deep in that a little bit. But like I said, this is a little, little long, but at the same time, come on, let's start getting our attention spans growing. That's one of the challenges I want to put out there right now. Those of you who listening to this particular podcast right now, I want to challenge you to expand, expand your attention span. I want you to expand your attention. Literally, because there's too many jewels that's being presented in front of us. When I go out here, when I'm out here in the, you know, in the nature, 
we on them bars and whatnot, and we're looking at nature, how, what's going on around us. We're paying attention to every element within, within our particular circle. How's the weather going? How's it feeling? How's, it, how's that sun shining down on my body? How am I feeling? And I'm tuned in? You know what I'm saying? Where am I tuned in at? So I want to challenge you in this podcast to think, expand your mind a little bit. I know it's, this is a little long, but like I said, you can download this particular uh, YouTube uh, file and listen to it. Listen to this, because we definitely got some real st- real talk right now. If people really got on this point of intermittent fasting and seeing what it can do for your future, not just your future, but your present, what you're doing right now, you, it will change your whole life. It has been changing my whole life, literally. I'm looking at things on a whole different perspective. You know what I'm saying? I'm leaving technology alone. Technology don't have nothing to do with anything. All it's doing is keeping you occupied. That's what it's doing, keeping us occupied, you know what I'm saying, to things that are not benefiting us unless you're getting paid over mobile phones or whatever the case may be, you know, your business. But at the same time, all love, this is 411 Calisthetic Lifestyle Podcast, Episode 3, and I'm out. Hotep, peace to the universe. Subscribe to my video. Share this video. Comment on this video. Take authority of your life. Do the right thing. Yeah.